welcome user to the new lesson from the couple of last videos we have seen structure of recurrent neural network and different types of recurrent neural network in this video we are going to see one popular type of recurrent neural network lstm and gru both are the versions of traditional recurrent neural network from the last couple of videos we have completed theoretical understanding of lstm and gru now let us implement LSTM network in the MATLAB. LSTM network has two states and three main gates. The present output would be the combination of previous state and present input state. To implement LSTM network, we are going to use inbuilt data. The use case will forecast number of cases of chickenpox. The data has monthly information of patient. In the coding section, data is uploaded and converted into cell to double format. If we plot the data, we can see how sequential data will look like. Now run this section and let us see how plot is looking. Model will assume time series data would be stationary. So it's our job to give stationary data to algorithm. First, let us see when we can say our data is stationary. If data is stationary, then mean of the data over time would be constant. Variance or fluctuation is also constant and there would not be a seasonality. Visuals, global versus local test and augmented Dickey-Fuller test are the different methods we can use to check seasonality. Differencing, transformation and rolling statistics are the method we can use to make data stationary. We can decompose time series data into additive time series or multiplicative time series to find out nature of the data. Data would be divided into base level, trend, seasonality and error. This is how we can note some points by looking into time series data. For our analysis, we will consider data is stationary. Now let us see the code again. N variable will store index value which will cover 90% of the data. Now data is divided into data for training and data for testing. One index is overlapped in training and testing data. Why it is overlapped we will see in the upcoming section of the code. Data is standardized for better fit. After that training data is divided into X train and Y train. Remember first input will be producing second input and that would be the output. This is how sequential operation will be happened. After that, as like previous algorithms, layers and options are defined. Layers will take number of input features, number of hidden units and number of response. We can add options as per our requirements. We have already discussed how we can add arguments in the options. Now let us train the training data. Over here we all can see training progress. Network is prepared and we can forecast on testing data. To forecast the values of multiple time steps in the future, predict and update state function will be used. Function will predict time step one at a time and update the network state at each prediction. For each prediction, previous prediction would be the input to the function. To initialize the network state, first predict on training data x train. After that, make the first prediction using the last time step of the training response y train. Loop over the remaining predictions and input the previous prediction to predict and update state. For large collections of data, long sequences or large networks, prediction on the GPU are usually faster to compute the prediction on the CPU. Otherwise, prediction on the CPU are usually faster to compute. Unstandardize the predictions using the parameters calculated earlier. The training progress plot reports the root mean square error calculated from the standardized data and calculate the RMSE from unstandardized predictions. Now plot the training time series with the forecasted values. In the plot, blue will represent observed entries and red will represent forecasted entries. This is how LSTM network is working. In the next video, we will see how we can use 
pre trained network to make deep learning model thank you for watching this video do like this video if you found it helpful if you have any queries post them in the comments and get in touch with us follow us on linkedin facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel education is our future matlab is our future happy matlabbing